In this session, we'll be talking about second life process in bacteria, which is called respiration in bacteria. The very time we are discussing about respiration in bacteria, the bacteria can respire in presence of oxygen or it can respire in absence of oxygen. The very time it is respiring in presence of oxygen, the bacterial respiration will be called aerobic respiration and the bacteria will be called aerobes. The time oxygen is not required for bacterial respiration, the bacterial respiration will be called anaerobic respiration and such a bacteria will be calling as anaerobes. Now what happens when you detail about aerobes? What happens in aerobes? The aerobes can be obligate aerobes and of aerobes can be facultative anaerobes. Remember this particular word by I'm pointing is anaerobe. It's a type of aerobe but they are called anaerobe. Why? That I'll tell you. So what happens in obligate aerobes? Obligate means strict. They are strictly depending upon oxygen for respiration. If oxygen is not there, the bacteria cannot respire and hence the bacteria will die. So obligate means strict condition. Bacteria is strictly depending upon the presence of oxygen. It will only respire in presence of oxygen. This is called obligate aerobes. And bacillus subtilis is one among the uh, what you call obligate aerobes. When you talk about facultative anaerobes, facultative anaerobes are actually aerobic bacteria. So they will be requiring oxygen for the respiration. But let's suppose oxygen is not present at any of the time. The bacteria will not die. These particular bacteria will not die, but they will start using the faculties or facilities of anaerobic environment. Being aerobic, when they have the oxygen, they will respire in presence of oxygen. But when they, do, when they don't get oxygen, they won't die. They will start using the facility of anaerobic uh, what you call respiration. And that is what they are called facultative anaerobes. Remember this word. Facultative anaerobes are actually aerobes. And one among the important bacteria called Pseudomonas. That I will tell you later on what is Pseudomonas. So Pseudomonas is one among the facultative anaerobic bacteria. Now when you talk about anaerobes, Anaerobes are obligate anaerobe that I have already told you what is obligate and then facultative aerobes. Now remember they are behaving like these bacteria. And what happens? Obligate anaerobes are strictly depending upon the absence of oxygen. When the oxygen will be present, it will become deadly poison for them. The bacteria will die in presence of oxygen. Clostridium is one among the bacteria which is obligate anaerobe. Now what happens in facultative aerobes that these bacteria will respire in anaerobic climate but when anaerobic climate is not there, when oxygen comes up, they won't die. They can also be present, they can also live in oxygenic conditions. So they are called facultative aerobes because they are using the faculties of aerobic climate and chlorobium is one among the facultative aerobes. Always remember, most of the photosynthetic bacteria are actually facultative aerobes. The next session will be discussing about reproduction in bacteria.